what a good kids can welcome back to another one with your boy how's the guys doing hope you guys are doing good first and foremost and today we have got drum roll please mr cj the champ and i have been do you know what part of me didn't know if this was ever going to be something that cj would do but I don't know if I've ever spoken about this actually on this channel. Death Note, one of, mm, in my opinion, it is actually the second best anime. Like in terms of just plot, story, and just the way it was thought out. Yeah, genius. But yeah, we're going to be reacting to CJ the Champ, Light Yagami Anime's Deadliest Serial Killer 2. So I'm guessing there's a part one to this um depending how this does i'll probably do the part one actually regardless i'll probably end up doing the part one anyway but yeah catching you guys in the video <laughs> yes i am that lazy i i cannot be asked to, to change my t-shirts my schedule has changed not that you guys care but my schedule has work it just keeps changing like now they've changed my schedule i don't work now 5 p.m to 2 a.m in the morning yeah so I am running out of time. I need to record this, edit it, and then bounce. Yeah. So, like Algami, the following footage in this video was used for criticism, commentary, and parody, and is protected by fair use. Please support the official release. Please do, actually. Please watch the anime, but also definitely go and support CD the Chant Man. This guy literally gives this to us for free really if you think about it yeah he's given it to us for a like and a subscribe it's a click of a button a click of two buttons which if you are enjoying this so far hit that like button and subscribe because there's going to be more coming your way all right let's get into it i'm going to jail all righty ladies and gentlemen it is time for another installment of anime's deadliest serial killers and today we dive into the case of the most notorious serial killer in I love anime that. history and that's literally in the anime Kira, <laughs> aka in the anime it is the cure case so that reference like is yagami uh, and i like God, sort of with all the like evidence in the amount of victims this man racked up this case is gonna be a beefy one so let's okay. stop wasting time so ready, without further bro. ado it's time to dive in to the cure case like yagami one mm -hmm. of the most diabolical niggas to ever exist. Mm -hmm. A man with a kill count that ranges in the six figures and had a whole cult praising this nigga, thinking that he's the Messiah. I need yeah. somebody to help me glorify God and stretch out your arms, open up your mouth and say this but was you have to wonder time. how the actual it, it was actually did this borderline out of as out of background control. character looking toothpick built ass nigga become one of the most notorious mass murderers in fiction well yeah, ladies and gentlemen up, that is why we are here so first off do you know what i literally do <laughs> well ladies and cj stop this shit man i only just noticed his freaking name man <laughs> inspector kuchmuch Oh god damn it man. Uh, become one of the most notorious mass murderers in fiction. Well, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, that is why we are here. So first and off, we need to know what the hell the, the weapon was to commit there. all these homicides. And that of course is the death note. Now mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure everybody knows how this thing works. But mm -hmm. if you forgot, here's Refresh a quick refresher. I know the how human it works, whose but... name is written in this note shall die. The note will not take effect unless the writer has the person's face in their mind when yeah. writing his or her name. Like see Therefore, these type of details. Sharing the same name will not be affected like these type of details to me was like yeah, yeah 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 you could tell they actually thought about it and it's not it wasn't a gimmick of a the anime or a villain that was trying to be built up he dead ass became a villain's villain like bro butter was on timing but yeah the fact that literally the person when you write the person's name you need to have their name and face in your head so you can't just be killing random people and have a, a, a fucking 
two five people die with just one person's name that's uh, that to me was just it's just sort of details of like death that is written within that 40 love. seconds of writing the person's name it will happen yeah. and finally after writing the cause of death details of the death should be written in the next six minutes and 40 seconds Damn. now with all that explained we can now move into the first major incident and that is of course the first confirmed Jesus 52 Christ. victims now when you know i didn't first even found the death note when it conveniently it dropped right in front of him he thought to himself, i'll be honest with Man, you Bush. I really did not think it was that much. Who the hell would believe this? But Light being a little curious, George decided to take the book. So later on, when Light got home, Bro was a little bored. So he ended up thinking in his head, mm, I mean, it doesn't hurt to try it out, right? So Light's intrusive right. thoughts took over. So he ended up turning on the news and hearing breaking news. A local crackhead is holding eight children hostage at a daycare. So Light said, F it. let's write this guy's name down. I mean, he's Look. a criminal. Crackhead. So 40 Jesus seconds Christ. later, the news comes back on and says, Breaking news! <laughs> the children have been set free and the assailant just Why does he have to <laughs> Why does he have to say like, like that? He was like, no, no, I've no, never heard no, any no. reporter it, it report just anything right? <laughs> with such no passion. Fucking way, right? But it was no coincidence. This local crackhead was the first victim of light. But light needed first more proof 52. because he thought it just had to be a random God coincidence damn. that bro had a heart attack when he wrote his name down. So later mm -hmm. on that same night, while light oh, is walking more back like from he needed more school, test subjects. He ends up seeing this lady walking, and these bikers come up and start to harass her. So ugly biker bastard right here ends yeah. up saying, "Hey there, pretty lady. <laughs> How about you come fuck with a real nigga and come in?" Who uh, spit on that thing for me? <laughs> so these freaky ass niggas tried to read the hey, 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 hey. But Light was in the convenience store watching the whole thing Mr. like, CJ. not on my watch, you 69 gods. So he wrote Bro's name down <laughs> and made the not on right. 40 in the parking lot. All these Freaky references. Freaky ass niggas tried to redo of Hiller Shorty Hot in the parking tour. lot. But Light 69 was in the convenience god. store watching the whole thing hey, hey, like, hey, not hey, on hey, my watch, for you 69 gods. So he wrote Bro's name down and made <laughs> the cause be of accidental ugly death. Bastard. And the accidental rest was death. history. Old girl breaks yeah. away while ugly bastard tries to try Fam, you blow reference of an argument. And he strikes again. And just like that, light caught another body. And this man was stunned. He was like, no, 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 oh my no, 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 this That's man a whole went back to the crib, locked the door looking like he about to beat that thing and said, I'm about to cleanse this water of its garbage. Jesus. So this man looked up a list of criminals yeah, this... and just started getting active. There, there are scenes. So fast, it looked like he had there are scenes like this that are just fucking golden. This is another one. There's, oh, wait, which one is it? It's the, it's the chip, it's the chip scene. It's the chip, the chips, him eating the chips while writing the names. I hope CJ is going to have that in there. The the I, I hope. He I'm not sure. Up bodies. But body, God body, damn. Body. Going crazy thinking in his head. Yeah. That ugly bastard that was talking to that little girl the other day. Boy got busy. He got busy. This man went through the whole night. Just... The audio keeps like going from okay to not okay to right not to down. Down. There we go. And this man went through the whole night just writing down names mm -hmm. until two whole pages were full. And look at this man breathing hard as hell, looking like he just ran a 5K. And you just know, all for that one night, the this passion, man killed 52 criminals. The intensity now, here's the you should have been writing that was just criminals that, that died out of breath. heart attacks. Because when Interpol oh, got this information, they was like, there could be some people that were unaccounted for. So that death toll could have easily been over 100. So after mm -hmm. Light racked up all of his first victims, the name Kira started spreading like wildfire because Light was constantly oh, dropping off yeah. niggas. Every single yeah. day he was killing multiple criminals and people all around the world was supporting this man. They had Reddit threads yeah. and Discord servers just yeah. blazing this nigga. And yeah. this just amped up his yeah. god complex even yeah. more. Bro, just look Bro at this on light. crack. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. This Glaze this me, nigga. Polish this Willie. And of course, now he got this oh, A1 man. instigating Shinigami Ryuk attached to his hip the whole time now. But even though Light was killing only criminals, at the end of the day, it was still murder. And this is when this man fell for the trap. 
Now, this is the moment where you just think to yourself, what if Light never made this mm. crucial mistake? And that mistake yep. was killing Lynn yeah. L. Taylor on yeah. live TV. Yeah, that was an so L. a worldwide no public thunder. service announcement yeah, comes on TV. More than one and L, this actually. man announces himself as L. But obviously, this ain't L. But Light didn't know. So Lind L. Taylor starts speaking two L's saying, one. Good afternoon, world. My name is Lind L. Taylor. Kira, if you're watching this, we have a message for you. You are evil, and you are just a mindless serial killer. Mm -mm -mm. And I'm going to do that now. Ass to justice. He's so God. You, can, you can't go against God. It doesn't Mass work. <laughs> Light. I'm not going to lie. That nigga pressing your Bro, shit right stunned. now. So what the fuck you going to do about it, huh? So here come this man, Light. His ego is challenged. You think I'm fucking... Excuse me. Yapping, Boy, still waking up. Man. God, yeah. You can suck my divine dick yeah. Six feet under. So yeah. Light got to work quick. He wrote Bro's yeah. name down in a heartbeat, and after he finished, he was like, "Yeah, that's right. I'll show the world what happens if you." Divide that's how me. you know. He, finished, he was like, "Yeah." So Light got to work. Quick. Like he wrote Bro's name. He's not writing the name down in full bold ass letters for anybody's sake. There's no one there around him. It's just him. He took a whole page to write that man's name. You know he got under his skin. He got under his skin and he added some salt and pepper under that shit. Wow. My divine dick. Wow. <laughs> so Light got to work. Light was not happy. He wrote name down in a heartbeat. And after he Jesus finished, he was Christ. like, yeah, that's right. I'll show the world what happens if you defy me. So 40 seconds later, and Lynn L. Taylor has a heart attack, yeah. crossover, over, and dies. And here go Light thinking he got it in the bag. What's wrong? Huh? Get the fuck up, huh? But see, you was talking to that shit. What's good, fuck, nigga? Huh? Mm -hmm. Wow, mm -hmm. <laughs> Kira, mm -hmm. I can't believe it. You was one dumbass nigga. You really mm -hmm. think I get my introverted ass on TV and fing press you like this? You one stupid ass nigga. And now yeah. I know all your shit. The dude you just killed? Uh, Damn, he was good for execution today anyway, so he could go f off. Also, this is not a worldwide broadcast. We only broadcasting this in the Kanto region of Japan. So guess what, motherfucker? AKA. <laughs> you fucked up. I don't know what the hell I even just said. I'll be honest with you. He got your ass. I don't know what I just said. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with what I was trying to say, but yeah, ignore whatever phrasing just came out of my mouth there. Yeah. Let's just. Yeah, he got your ass. ass. Could it be me though? <laughs> Kira know this. Oh my mama, I'm coming for your bitch ass, and I'm gonna put your nigga ass in the slammer. So Bet. after this man L played light like a fool and pressed the living hell out of him, the investigation on Kira went into full effect. So this is where we move on to our next set of evidence and next set of victims. And our first key victim is Ray Pinber. Now, Ray Pinber was a FBI agent. Yeah, this case got so big that this man L ended up getting help from the FBI to come solve this case. Because that's how horrendous this shit got. Because light was murdering like 23 niggas a day at this point. He was dropping at least one body an hour and just toying with L the whole time. So L FBI suspected that program? whoever Kira Federal was Bureau. had to have ties to the police because how the Ooh. hell would this person be getting all this uh, alarm went off giving me about an hour to record I did, I did. information on these criminals and what do you know Light's FBI, dad yeah, is the Federal police Bureau chief so L basically uh, made every single person that had ties to the police be kept under sure surveillance by the FBI and Ray Pember's job was to survey Light and obviously Light didn't need this type of heat so nope. Light decided I'm gonna have to put this man in a coffin so Light came up with this devious ass plan and that was the bus jacking incident so for this Light needed a guinea pig so he found another local crackhead on the most wanted list kichiro otsuruda i'm not gonna lie i just butchered that man's name so the second part of his plan he needed a shorty so this man dialed up one of his shorties on his roster and called her and said you're telling me hello but i had girls my time dick. i got lotion on my dick right now i'm just stroking my shit i'm horny as fuck man i'm a freak man like for real Who's a freaky ass nigga? So the next day, Light ends up meeting the girl to go on their date to Disneyland. And of course, Ray Pember is oh, right behind boy. them, following them, all according to Light's plan. So they end up getting on the bus, and Ray Pember sits right behind them. So about a good 15 minutes later, they stop at the next bus stop, and the local crackhead 
gets on the bus and this man wasted no time swag, he cocked back bro. the what gun and said hey everybody sit the fuck down and do your best Rosa Parks impersonation oh my boy I'm gonna this nigga brains out but son please I ain't playing with you nigga yeah, so this man called up mean. Disneyland and said bring out all the cash you made today and make sure the nigga that's bringing out got on a mini Mouse Ask costume up, sir we're able to comply with your demands but why the Minnie Mouse costume so I can get my nut off nigga the fuck else you expect so while this lunatic is high out of his mind and going wild this man ray pimber leans over and says all right y'all like he said stay calm and do your best rosa parks impersonation my name is ray pimber fbi so when this man light looked at this man's why? id bro just this is what i mean i i never understood this why as an fbi agent on any circumstances would you show somebody your freaking id man you know that Kira, or at least L knew that Kira needed a, f a name and a face to kill. You would assume that that's information that he passed on to all the FBI agents. See, but at the, mm, see, at the same time, though, I feel like that's something that L wouldn't have passed out as information if he knew because... Mm, yeah, that's, see, that's a difficult one. Because you don't know who Kira is, you can't exactly give them, give everybody the information that you know that he needs a name and a face to kill. Yeah, but he said that on live TV. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, that's, it's a tricky one. It's a tricky one. But yeah, as an FBI, don't, you wouldn't show your freaking ID, man, to anybody. You know, you just, you just wouldn't. You just wouldn't do it. Marked and thought in his head. <laughs> Stupid ass nigga. Yeah, oh, this, I, I didn't understand. So Light this digs in his pocket and drops a piece of paper on the floor. So the crackhead's like, the fuck you moving for, you little shit? Do you, do you want me to blow your brains out, nigga? But Light little. meant to drop that paper mm. because that <clears throat> was a piece of the death note. So old boy turns around and starts tweaking because he ends up seeing Ryuk behind him. So bro just starts emptying the map, trying to shoot this man Ryuk, but obviously it ain't working. So bro ran up to the bus driver and said, Lord, get me off this bus. So the bus driver stops, yeah, don't play bro runs bro. out into the street and cartoon comes Jesus Christ. splatters this nigga's guts like the Nickelodeon logo. I forgot that happened to him. And I of forgot course, he had died. Of course, Light is sitting I on this bus with no emotion, died. looks at his watch and I said, 11.45 on the dot. Right How on calm and Light staged this entire bus jacket. Because using the death note, he made this man board the bus, attempt to hijack it, then jump out and get hit by a car due to accidental death. And then at the end of this, he's God. Remember, thinks nothing suspicious like, of lit this man. He Literally, I'm not talking in terms of this war. Yeah, brother is able to control time, control. Like, he's able to control too much, man. Time placement. He's able to control your movement. That's God, man. He's He can place anything. As long as the end result is death, he can play around with what happens in between these... In between that, before the death part. Which is... No, actually, that's not God. That seems more like something else. You are... You seem like the reaper or like something because you are judge what else and you're, you're everything man i forgot I, to be a hmm. <laughs> he thought i mean it couldn't be girl because he would have just offed him uh. when he got on the bus so now this man does not suspect light and light has his name so after light boomed the second local crackhead it was time to move into phase three of his plan so about a week later, at a subway station, he ends up seeing Ray Pinber walking. So Light puts on his hood looking like he about to hit a lick. So he gets behind him and says, Ray Pinber, don't move a fucking muscle or I'll drop your ass right here. Jesus. So Light tells this man that he's Kira. And fear. to prove God it, he said, God. look over there. You see that nigga with them glasses on? I'ma drop that nigga right now. And bro right here starts having a heart attack and dies. Bro straight up off this man in the public eye. 
And then Light told him, Don't worry, you shouldn't feel bad for him. He was a registered sex offender and a PDF file. Uh, I didn't talk like, to three yeah. little boys the other day. I'm, like, so I'm not saying he deserved it. I'm and just tells saying him Light. To board a train. So later on when he boards the train, Light tells him to open the envelope. And he Light. sees all these papers. So Light says in his ear, I want you to write your boss's name in every single FBI agent that came here in Japan. Do it, I'ma drop your ass and your bitch right the fuck now. So Ray Pember writes down all the names. So after this, Light told him, wait 30 minutes and then get off the train. So 30 minutes pass. Ray Pember gets off the train and it happens. <laughs> And right before the lights went out, this man looked up and saw who Kira was the whole time and this thought before smart. he died. Oh, holy shit. Fucking so after the lights went out for Ray Pember, so did the rest of the FBI's. Yeah, man, because you have to remember, you need a name and a face to kill. This is why I mean, this was smart. Oh, man, I might, I might get back to watching this anime and but you know what if i'm re-watching this anime i'm probably gonna want i'm probably gonna re-watch it either on this channel or in the anime channel i i haven't decided yet to be honest with you i haven't decided what i'm gonna do with the anime channel just yet uh but yeah i, I might be posting it on here and re-watching it but where was i going with this yeah man it is literally like the most thought out thing because the sheet of paper that brother ended up giving to him. Remember, because remember, he gave him a sheet of paper. And that sheet of paper was from the death note. And brother had no idea that he was just signing a death warrant for all of his colleagues and his boss, man. Like, oh, because you know, the first time I watched it, I was like, wait, how come brother died when you need a name and a face to kill? But then I remembered, Kira is not the one that wrote those names. It is brother Ray Pember who wrote those names. He essentially executed the whole his whole SP, FBI task force. Like, bro. Because the sheet that Ray Pember yeah, wrote those yeah. names on were death note Madness. sheets. Madness. So the other this 11 agents me. that were in Japan. This and spun his me, man. boss shortly died right after Ray. All and right, just he. like that, Light Yagami did the unthinkable. This man bitched the FBI. He made them pussy Because out. the director of the FBI calls L and tells him, L, um, I'm sorry, but America's gonna have to pull out of this one. This shit's getting out of hand. Now, it seems that Light is ready to make his victory lap, but there was one problem. There was a loose end, mm. and that loose end was Ray Pember's fiance, a mm. former FBI mm. agent. Mm. So she did some snooping around and quickly figured out whoever Kira was had to be on that bus. Also, she ended up figuring out that he can kill in other ways besides a heart attack. So yeah, a couple days she later, cooking. she goes to the police station because she's basically figured out this entire thing. All she needs to know was who was on the bus. So when she goes to the police station and asks to speak to Light's dad, who was over the case, just by coincidence, Light walks in and overhears her talking about it. So Light was like, who the hell is this mm -hmm. bitch? So he walks up to her and tells her, Hi, excuse me, ma'am. My name's Light. Pleasure to meet you. You see, my dad is the chief of the police force. So I'm going to help you out real quick. You know what I'm saying? Marinating. So they end up walking outside and they start chatting it up. So the first thing Light asks is, uh, Miss Beautiful Miss, um, can I have your name? So she says, um, yeah, uh, my name's Shoko Maki. So Light already has the name. So now his plan was to just talk her up, figure out what she knows, and if she knew too much, he was going to offer. So they kept on talking, and she just kept on yapping. But everything she said was right. And the real stinger was, she said that, um, yeah, um, so my fiance said that he showed somebody his ID, and he wasn't supposed to. So whoever he showed his ID to, yeah, um, that's Whoa, most definitely. Man, CJ, the way, like, bro, as much as some of these can be like, mm, the way he speaks. I like man, I couldn't do this. Like it's so the is it alternations or the voice fluctuation that he like it's perfect, man. It's so perfect. So like, whoever bro. he showed his ID to, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, um, oh that's god, most definitely. These videos are too cool. So light was like, shit. She knows way too, too much. Golden. She got to die mm. now. Cause if they pull up them bus cameras, Jeez. lights cooked. So here go this. See, to me, this was the second time like the first one we saw when the the big f up that he did in the beginning with uh deading linda taylor this is another one for me it's like 
if he didn't coincidentally show up at the police station that day, GGs, bro. GGs. GGs. It was it was done. There. Death note finished. The sinister ass nigga. Like so bro starts asking her questions, but in reality he's writing season. down her name. So light thinks so he's like got her. But what? a couple of more when seconds pass, and she's still alive. Nani? So light ends up figuring out because Ryuk's ass was laughing at him the whole time that she used the alias. Yeah, so she that ain't was dumb. not her real name. That's so what light. I mean. She ain't stupid. She's an FBI. Her husband was a fiance was an FBI agent himself. But well, one sec. But he showed his freaking ID. What an It's oh, starting to shit. panic. What it is do or die what right now. Because if she gets back to the police station, he's done. So he pulled this and last trick out of his ass and told her, Well, you see, ma'am, um, it's going to be actually impossible for you to go back to the police station because they're very busy right now. But it's okay, though, because I'm on the Kira task force. Oh, my gosh, really? And yeah, I, I have connections to L2. You. So this Pinocchio oh. long-nosed lion-ass nigga oh. basically baited her and told her, You know what, ma'am? You are really smart. You should join the task force with us. All you got to do is show me your ID Amazing. so I can check your credentials. So obviously, mm. she jumped Jeez, at the idea. <laughs> she wants to bring her fiance's killer to justice. Yep. So she whips out her ID and it's over. Light saw her real name, wrote it down, Miami. and made the cause be of unalive herself. Out. So right before tragedy was about to strike, she asked this man, Um, why do you keep on looking at your watch? Oh, because I'm Kira. Duh, stupid bitch. And it was over. So she ended up walking this, away. This is a moment in the anime that I came close to, like, being emotionally invested in this. Because this is the first anime that I watched, to be honest, where I loved it, but I, I didn't... You, it's not like the Dragon Ball Zs where you get invested in the characters like that. You know, you're more invested in the storyline and the characters who fill up that storyline. Whereas other animes, it's, yeah, it's a storyline, but the characters are the ones that really get to you with their backstory, you know, jutsu and all of this. This is the first moment in the anime where my heart was hurting for this woman, man. Like, you're stupid because he marinated you into showing your ID but just the way he did it and the way she went, oh man, yeah, this was tragic, man. Uh, was so duh, tragic. stupid bitch. So tragic, and it was over. Yeah. She ended up walking away and she's going to underlive herself in GTA. And while she's walking away, this sick nigga is just talking and saying, oh ma'am, um, what's wrong? D you still need to use my phone, sick right? I thought little. we were gonna catch Kira. Bastard. And what makes this even more tragic, they never <laughs> found her body. We don't know what the hell happened to her. Yeah. All we know is that she unalived herself. And with that, the bus jacking incident comes mm -hmm. to a close. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, chop chop, move it on. We got more people dying. Flip the board this for it. The funniest part: fifteen people died for him to get rid of one person following him. And that just seems that just seems to be like the way this anime went. Next set of evidence. Now, obviously, it was more, we know more than one person who had to catch is case. L, one of the oh, smartest characters oh, yeah, in yeah, fiction. Yeah. This nigga's anime Sherlock yeah. Holmes, and this man was on Light's ass twenty four seven because he always had a hunch that Light was Kira. I mean, he literally walked up to Bro and said, "Hey, man, uh, my name's L, and I think there's a five percent chance that you're Kira." What? <laughs> That was actually I, I, I'm not sure all the way, but there's like a five percent chance, bro. He had this man join the Kira task force to keep an eye on him more. He even had cameras set up in his room, watching him 24/7. So you know damn well that he was watching him yanking his shit. Oh, and don't be acting like I'm reaching. You think Light was cracking I don't know, me, man. Fuck no, he hated this bitch. Speaking yeah, of that, let me go ahead yeah, and introduce yeah, the accomplice. Yeah, the second Kira, yeah, Misa. Yeah, Absolute yeah. brain dead. Oh, this girl God. suffers yeah. from brain dead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she's just dead. No, no, no. Suffers from brain dead. Come on. Well, she's just deeply in love with this nigga. And the reason why is because her parents were murdered. And lo and behold, guess who brought justice to the murderer? Yeah, off that nigga. 
and how she got a death note is even crazier. One night she was walking home and she got approached by no some crazy ass stalker. I know nigga. why they was ready to <laughs> kill her. So a Shinigami named Jealous that yeah. was weirdly in love with her yeah. decided to save her life and kill the stalker at the cost of his life. So what? Rim decided, I, that, uh, I might as well give her the death note. He would have wanted it this way. And Tada, Miss Brainrot became the second like, hero. So Light decided to use her because she had the Shinigami eyes and she could see any person's name just by looking at them. But at the cost of a half in your lifespan though. But Light knew he needed her to dep in his bag so he could kill people 10 times easier. So he made her pose as his girlfriend. So time passes and Notice one day L ends up capturing Misa, person. suspecting her of being the second Kira because they raided her apartment and just found a bunch of shit. So she got put in confinement. So Light said, F it, it's time to activate my master plan. So to make sure Misa did not confess, he had Rim make her relinquish ownership of the death note so it would wipe all of her memories of it. Then had Rim and Ryuk swap notebooks. And in the notebook, he wrote down two BS rules that basically said, if the person using the note for fails to continuously write names of people to be killed within 13 days. Huh? People to be killed within 13 days of each other, then the user will die. If you make this note unusable by tearing it up or burning it, all the humans who have touched the note till then will die. Yeah. Do you know what? And even in like these, I don't get this because this is probably the one falter that I saw because any smart person like L reading this would dismiss the fuck out of it. Man. That if the person you that is using the notebook that hasn't wrote down a name in 13 days, they die. And within, if you destroy the, the notebook, rules, all the like humans that have used it will die. Yeah. So he told Rim, go give this notebook to a greedy, power hungry bastard and let them become Kira. While I give myself up to L, relinquish ownership of the death note and go into solitary confinement for a total of 50 days and that's what light did because on day seven of his confinement light gave up his ownership of the death note and lost all of his memories of it to take all suspicion off of him and on day 15 the murder started back up again and the person murdering these people was mr kiyosuke higuchi of the yotsuba group so nah wait but see that begs the question then you see how even man you don't even need to watch the anime just look at how his whole face changed when he relinquished the death note does that mean that is is it then that the death note in itself is uh it's a weapon of mass destruction or is it that it depends whose hand is in or is it that no matter who you give it to they're gonna end up having a god complex which to me i'm more of the third opinion because Nobody should ever have that much power. Do you get what I mean? I feel like there's a certain amount of power that just becomes corruptible. Like, you're able to corrupt anybody at that point. This, yeah, this is one of these the people was God. Mr. Kiyosuke Higuchi of the Yotsuba group. So him and this group decided oh, to God. kill other businessmen to further the growth of they their company. These the niggas was Disney just building a bigger monopoly, but they downfall was they had some rats. And that was yeah. these two right here because they basically sold out and was talking to L the whole time. So over time after remember. Light and Misa was released from confinement and L and Light, the two smartest niggas on the earth working on the case simultaneously mm -hmm. ended up figuring out that it was Higuchi. So one it's night they end up baiting him out with a fake broadcast saying that they're about to reveal who Kira is. So later on, while this man is speeding down the road, he ends up getting stopped by a cop. So the cop do his thing. He like, license and registration, please. So Higuchi's like, all right, all right, all right. But this man was not reaching for the license. He was reaching for the death note. And he made the Shinigami ideal so he could see the officer's name. So he wrote bro's name down, but then just hit the gas and took off. So this man starts a whole high speed chase running from this cop. And about five seconds later, the cop ends up having a heart attack and crashes into the 
into the back of a truck. Another victim by truck coon. Damn, this nigga's on a tear. So that man L said, all units, arrest this nigga. And I kid you not, this shit went from Death Note to Tokyo Drift. So this man had the whole task force chasing him, L light and watery in the chopper. And they was not playing games. They said, this shit ends tonight. So while this man Higuchi is speeding on the road, this man runs into a police blockade. So he ends up getting cornered and he is trapped. So he tries to drive the other way, but FaZe Watery is up here on the helicopter and says, like, nah, not on my boy. watch, fuck boy. And shoots nah, his boy. tire out, makes him spin out, and he crashes into the wall. And it was over for the Gucci. They surrounded that man. So they cuff him, pin him down, yeah. and they start interrogating him. Boy, now here is where this master manipulator plan comes full circle. So while they're interrogating him, Higuchi tells him that there is a notebook that allows him to do all of his killings. So Light Dad goes in and searches the car and he finds the death note. So when he touches it and starts looking through it, he ends up seeing the room and freaks the fuck out. So then the other detective comes over and he says, Chief, are you all right? The fuck you screaming for? Yeah. Oh, shit. So that man, L says, bring we'll the notebook things. over to the helicopter. So L we'll gets the notebook things. and just starts staring into nothingness, just going into a deep thought. But he ended up realizing there has to be more than one notebook because there were two Kiras. And while that was happening, yes, Light was like, let me see it. And Light grabbed the notebook and started tweaking. Bro, looked like he entered the Avatar state. Every single memory came back into this man's head. So L was like, uh, bro, And there was a lot of memories good? to And Light return. was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. It swaps over to his face and it's over. This nigga just thinking, yes, yes. I won! <laughs> All according to play. So this man pulls out a piece of paper that he had in his watch, plucks himself and makes him bleed, and writes down Higuchi's name with his blood. And 40 seconds later, while they're taking him back to the car to arrest him, Higuchi has a heart attack falls to his knees and die like, and bro. look at this man's face bro it is all over it was just about to get worse from here so they get back to headquarters and they start looking over the death note and they find those fake bogus rules that light made and that fake 13 days rule basically cleared him and misa's name so they were off the hook so this is when light's mass manipulation went overboard he made misa go find the other death note gain all of her memories back then left a note saying yeah you remember that guy l find his real name and kill him so she makes the shinigami ideal again cutting her lifespan in half again and he well, makes imagine but imagine if she halved it in like if she halved her lifespan in half again and had ended up having like a day to live or some shit do you know what i mean like why to me that was one thing that it didn't make any sense to take this deal and light was a g in the fact that he never took that deal that idea because it just didn't make sense like you're compromising yourself yeah sure you get to easily be able to kill and see people's eye uh, names and age or whatever the hell it is but like man at the cost of halving your life Nah, GG. Start uh -huh. killing people again. No, 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 and this no, no. is where Rim ended up realizing what Light's full plan was. And that was to get suspicion back on Misa so that Rim would have to intervene and kill L to protect Misa because yeah, Rim uh, deeply cared yeah, about Misa. Demons. So it was pretty much wraps from here. The power goes out and she didn't already kill Watery. This old man fighting for his life. So he ends up deleting all the data. Absolutely. And then a few seconds later, it happens. L has a heart attack, falls over, and before he dies, the last thing that he sees is this evil, dickheaded ass smirk just to rub it in at the last second. And the lights went out. L was dead. Now here comes the attitude swap up. Look at this fucker. He's like, oh, no, it was the shitty guy, guys. <laughs> You know, y'all, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I, I really do hate this nigga. Love, yeah. But I have to admit, game is game. This I man is the best it, mass yes. manipulator. I hate right? the way that you see these. If I catch flight, it's gonna be direct. I had to, man. I had to. But I have to admit, game is game. This man is the best mass manipulator right beside this bastard. So then later he ends up finding Rim's pile of ashes because she died because she was saving Misa and like just casually takes his death note back. So after this, 
Light was about to go on another shit. mass murder requiem. This man the... stands at the top of the building, pulls out his pen, and just started going on a rampage. Right. These two people that were on the task force that were basically convicts, yeah, it was wraps for them. Bootleg Nina Williams. They She's out go. here riding her motorcycle. She, she has, has to a go, bro. Crashes she the motorcycle and dies. And you've this next go, one was like. tragic. This dude right here, Iber, yeah. his Iber, wife you've and kid go, walks bro. in the I'm room. Sorry, and the kid's go. like, Daddy! Nah, Daddy got to see go, his blood. dad's corpse fall on the ground. Yeah, Daddy oh, had to man, go, Oh, man, and y'all remember the Yotsuba group? They, they have to go, bro. Renji gets up and tells yeah. Suguru that we did it, man. This is Last a new start Lenzi. for Yotsuba. Yeah, man. Yeah. Our stock is about start. to roar. Just for this of man cleansing. to fall over. Oh, you have to go, and old boy right here knew he was cooked. He has a heart attack, and every single member of the Yotsuba group died. They but Light didn't go. stop there. Now, I yeah. have a theory. I'm because they know. didn't confirm this, but I honest to God think that this is true. While he's what? on this killing montage, it shows all the past news reporters that have reported on this man. Now, you see this woman right here. Keep this. On this board where it shows a bunch of criminals being wiped out, she is on the bottom right and her picture yeah. goes out so that tells me this nigga killed all of the news reporters that said some shit about him i'm sick i'm actually fucking sick nigga said fuck bad press y'all can suck my dick tmz <laughs> they had After to go this, it just got worse <laughs> they had the to next go. five years lights killings increased tenfold wow. because there was they nobody that go, could stop bro. him so this is uh, a yeah, time I'm where this it. man had to have dropped off at least a hundred thousand plus nigga america claimed him as law judge jury and executioner thank you that's what i was looking to say for, oh, judge jury and executioner thank you cj oh man but yeah like see at the point that you've killed a hundred thousand people do you do, does it affect you anymore like do you feel anything because you see like you saw when he first began be, be, begin when he first began like the first killing he was it was more like oh my god look at what i've done like i, I can do this like damn and then gradually 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 it gets to the point where his emotions just go and the only emotion that he's able to show now is that smirk that he gives when he when he's finally one up to you with your life erica claimed like, him as law bro. judge jury and executioner because yes, they couldn't sir. do nothing Look at otherwise they would have to go blood that's why shit. you couldn't but nobody can do anything you don't have to go because of terror that's just it. got worse you had to go and worse you had to go and worse they all have to go i mean the nigga can control truck tune on command and the most chilling thing this they man go, ever bro. did was go to l's grave <laughs> and just start derangingly laughing his ass off look at this I nigga he has his that. ass up he's twerking at his grave and spitting on his shit i mean look at that thing that shit is moving nah, this nigga like said yeah, in my I testicles, can't, I can't nigga. And with Light's that, victory, we now move into Damn. our final set of evidence. Now, at this point in time, Light has taken the mantle of L. Yes, mm -hmm. Light just didn't kill L. He took his whole flow, his whole name. And L's successors, Mir and Mello, are now mm -hmm. on his ass. So Mello and the Mafia decided to kidnap the director of the MPA so they could trade him for the Death Note. So guess what Light did? Ding, 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 you probably guessed it. Light kills the director of the NBA, so the Mafia will lose their leverage. But guess what? That's just the start of this last little In list anime, that I have. So, I so you want to hear some more terrible shit? I got you so since light killed the director of the mpa Mello and the mafia decided let's kidnap this man's sister so they could get more leverage so after this whole trade went down and they got back his sister she was so traumatized by this experience her mind was broken she was so fucked up she couldn't even talk had her in a wheelchair and everything at arkham asylum and his sister was sadly a victim of his actions but guess who also was a victim of his actions his daddy yeah, yeah. this man used his dad as a pawn 
So to get back that With Death Note, no, Light decided to relinquish no, his. Glitch. It made Misa send Why a message this? that said, Kira will be relinquishing his Death Note to somebody in the task force. And guess who took ownership of that Death Note and made the Shinigami ideal? His daddy. So oh, later dude, on, he ended up raiding right Mello's right hideout. Right. And at the end of the raid, Light tells his dad to confront Mello. So while Light's dad is confronting Mello, Light's dad was hesitant about writing his name down and killing him. So yeah, one of yeah. the dudes that was left alive shoots his dad in the back and Melo blows up his hideout. So after this, they are in the hospital and Light's dad is about to die. So you know what this sick, pathetic bastard does? He says, Dad, please, before you go, you've got to write his name down. Is this nigga serious? Come on, old motherfucker. Help me out here, damn it. Do something useful for your son before you fucking die. Oh my God. Get him the fuck out of here. Get him the, please. Black, get him the fuck out of here. Like, I can't begin to tell you how pathetic yeah. this shit was. Yo dad is about to die. Because of your actions, by the way, and you begging this to get somebody's name for your personal gain. Sick bastard. And this wasn't even the worst part. Since his dad had the Shinigami eyes, he looked at Light and said, Oh, sonny boy, I'm glad to see that you not Kira because I could see your lifespan. I could die at peace. What? Hey, what was that again? This man's dad died not knowing that his son was Kira oh. because he relinquished that death note. Because the thing okay. was that if you were a user of the death note, a person with Shinigami eyes could not see your lifespan. So his dad died living a lie. Sickening shit. And his blood is on Light's hands. So this man joins Doflamingo in the Patricide Club. Mm -hmm. Now we have come down to Except our Doflamingo last has major victim. And, and this one was I'm just peak I'm manipulation. So saying. while Kira's influence was growing sore. stronger in the world and Light was out here inciting riots to stop Nier, he needed the right people to spread his message. So the ex-Kira, Teru Mikami, who was basically Light's right-hand man that he, he personally okay. chose after making Misa relinquish her oh, death Jesus. note again and losing all of her memories decided we need a change of management so this fat nigga Demigawa who is the leader of Kira's kingdom and the spokesperson for this cult decided to stream their Sunday service on TV tell me how you feel now yes lord so Mikami said fuck these niggas so he deletes every single one of these lunatics on live TV delete then he saved Demi Gall's fat ass for last. He said, the doors of the church are open, but not for you. So after Mikami disbanded the church of Kira, he chose a loyal supporter of Kira to be the next spokesperson. And that was Kiyomi Takada, Light's ex-girlfriend back in college. So you see where this is probably gonna go, right? <laughs> So Light convinced the task force that we should use Shorty to get some more leverage on Kira and find out who that is. But obviously, Light had to get some. They've got, I'm assuming there's also three on the other side. You're trying to tell me that they've got fucking three, three and two and then one big ass one. Why you, what's the point of having the big ass one? Is that for the main face to show? And then like all the small heads to show? I don't know some more leverage some on Kira and find out who that is. But obviously, Light had ulterior motives with her. So one night, he meets up with her. So here go this manipulation riz. How you doing, shorty? You looking as fine as ever. <laughs> and he just had her in the palm of his hand. So he basically told her, look, shorty, I'm Kira. And I see that my dog has chosen you as my spokesperson. So I'm gonna make you the goddess of the new world. And she was so ecstatic. She was entrenched in this nigga. And yeah, y'all could probably guess what happened after this. Now they don't Hercules, show it, but Hercules. let's be real. Yes. Light laid the pipe that. on her ass. Good. Yeah, good. How good is that oh, oh. How good is that so after Light got done getting that. his freak on yeah. and getting Takata to work with him, he had Shorty basically being another Kira. So he made Mikami make a fake notebook and sent the actual names to Takata, bringing her in and making her do some damn killing. And she was just dignitized. She had that Jeffrey Dahmer syndrome when Shorty's was just fiending over that nigga for some odd reason. But time for shit to get crazy. 
So one day, Takuda ends up getting ran up on and kidnapped by Melo. So a couple hours pass and Melo started trying to interrogate her. Bro pulled out the gun and said, all right, chop, chop. Take off them clothes and start shaking them booty cheeks. I'm gonna blow your fucking brains out, bitch. So while she starts stripping, she ends up taking a piece of the death note out that she had on her bra. Mm. So while Melo's transporting her in the back fun, of this man. truck, she ends up calling light and she on the phone saying, oh my God, baby, Shake my booty cheeks. How, so Light how, said, how do calm you now. now, did you do what I told you to do if you ever got in a situation like this? Yeah. And that is what she did because she wrote Melo's name down. Imagine somebody that you dated back in high school was out of your life for so long. Your life was good. Your life was pain free. Your life was kidnap free. You, this, mm, I'm not going to say that word comes back into your life and straight away straight away trouble and you get kidnapped like i will slide you sl i'll slide you on my head because i'm not dealing kill that nigga. but light being a sick and twisted bastard decided nah i'm gonna get as much out of you as i can until your gas tank is empty bitch so light told her on the phone the time has come execute order 66 so he made her call up mikumi and made her tell him send me as many criminals as you can so i can go on a killing spree it's honestly so you while deserve she was doing that, that you're sitting, just there crying, sitting in the car and you're still the doing what this man is telling you to do and in his you head deserve. he just said you man you know what you should have never went to that frat yeah, party without it. me bitch you know what i mean and it was all over for shorty light made her unalive herself by burning herself alive and setting everything on fire to get rid of every single piece of evidence and just like that that was light yagami's final victim because the next day on january 28th this nigga got <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, with the final confrontation with Nier, Light got cooked. This nigga went out so sad, bro. Nier read this motherfucker like a book. It was actually fucking hilarious seeing this nigga lose his mind because Mikami utterly failed. So Light tried to pull a fast one, but Matsuda just yeah, threw boy. bullets in his ass. So for Light to escape, Mikami just unalived himself. Nigga committed seppuku and Light just ran away, but they didn't even bother chasing him. He was done. So Ryuk watching over the whole thing was just like, well, I give it to you like you was one entertaining motherfucker. Yes, but I need was. my notebook back. Yeah. And on January 28th, 2010, anime's most deadliest serial killer dies of a R. heart R. attack. Bro. Man, how everything comes full fucking circle, doesn't yeah. it? Really? <laughs> yeah. Damn. All right, everybody, it's time for our final tally. Now, obviously, What's keeping it looking like? count in Six this foot? is literally impossible because Jesus, there were mad off-screen deaths. And he just wasn't no killing criminals. He was, he was killing girls. innocent people, too. And also people with just petty crimes. Yeah. He probably killed your ass if you got a speeding ticket. Yeah. That's Boy, this motherfucker did, was just evil. I mean, you know how many families he probably tore apart doing this shit? A lot! Shit, what like it goes one prayer for these families, man. But here's what we'll do. Amen. If one of y'all can get an actual reasonable number and people actually agree with you, I'll pin the comment and we'll make that our number. But you know what that number gonna be right now? I'll Drum roll, watch please. A lot. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I ain't lying. Anyways, man, case closed. And that is another installment of Anime's Deadliest Serial Killers. So, hope y'all enjoyed and uh, get ready, baby. Because our next trial is going to be the beefiest one we've ever had. Yes, it's I'm not. already giving you a warning right now. So, until yeah. then, I'm out this time. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> nah, that was CJ the Champ. Light Yagami anime's deadliest hero killer. That was sick. If you guys enjoyed that content like I did, don't forget to leave us a like down below and hit that subscribe button. Head over to CJ's channel. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. This man has every form of content you want to dodge into. Get in. <laughs> He's got all the content you want to indulge into within anime so head over to his channel check him out and show some love but also show your boy some love hey it's been your boy as you guys know this is one of three different channels that i have so if you're looking to get into the sports or anime with me that, uh, see but the thing is i don't know i'll be honest i don't fully know what i want to do with um 
the anime channel so for now let's just say that anime will be getting posted here do you know what i mean it's just gonna be done here but yeah it's been your boy you have a blessed day i need to get going and get ready to get to work but yeah peace